ಗುರವಿ ಗೌರಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಧಿಕಯ ಇತದಾಲಯಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಾಯ ತದ್ ಭಕ್ತಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ Also, Manu was the first person on earth and Manu married someone and his son and daughter was born. But why and from where that soul came? And what will happen to all the souls after the end of Kali Yuga? Will all souls go back to Godhead? If not, then what will happen to them? So yeah, it's more than one question. So... the first question um is why was brahma created basically and why did he create other beings so we have to understand from the vedic revelation uh especially the summary of the whole vedic wisdom by shri ravyasa deva that there are countless universes and when mahavishnu exhales these universes are created when he inhales then they are destroyed and the souls come into the universe also from the glance of mahavishnu when he glances over those universes and the first soul in that case is lord brahma and then he does not know why he exists he finds himself on the lotus on on the navel of uh, gaudaka shai vishnu and then he meditates and he prays and then he gets the revelation who he is and why he is there and what is his mission so because he is a devotee of the lord therefore he follows the instruction and creates um the different dimensions of existence and the beings therein and also uh instructs them to populate um Of course all the souls come from the tatastha shakti which is also explained the marginal energy of the lord which is between the material and spiritual worlds not to confuse with subtle dimensions in the material wo- uh, world and so same goes for manu he came from higher uh, more subtle dimensions um now there are seven lokas uh, actually six lokas above the earth the earth is the seventh loka and then there are seven um lower dimensions called talas inside the um bhumandala or flat earth stratum okay so um not 100% sure i would have to look up um who was the wife of manu and uh, where she came from but basically um we can assume that they both came from a uh, higher dimension and then they came down to um the earthly dimension and um so first of all when any soul comes into the universe from the marginal position it first of all uh is in a very high state of consciousness uh similar to lord brahma uh on the satya loka plane with only a subtle body and then subsequently through um, engagement in karma um further um more gross bodies are created and the cycle of samsara actually really begins So then the last question was what will happen to all souls after the end of Kali Yuga will they all go back to godhead if not what will happen to them Yeah so 
Of course, they will not all go back to Godhead, even though the last ones will be killed by um, Kalki Avatar. They will be liberated, and um, as such, they will go into Mahavishnu because um, they have not developed bhakti. You can only um, go into the spiritual world if you have loving devotion and self-realization. So, so they don't get this from the killing of um, Kalki Avatar. That means they will be um, reborn in the next cycle. And this goes for all the souls uh, which lived in the previous yugas or in the Kali Yuga which um, did not res um, reach perfection of their constitutional identity, they will um, go take rebirths in this universe or another universe, and when all the universes are destroyed, they go together with their karma into Mahavishnu, and they come out again in the next cycle of creation. So there are some souls in each cycle of creation which come into the universe for the first time and there are also souls who come into the universe with their karma from the previous cycle of creation. So I hope this was uh, somewhat clear. If you really want to know the details you have to read Srimad Bhagavatam or the Bhagavad Purana. All glories to Guru and Garanga. May the Om Love be with you. Jai Sri Radhe Shyam.